All right, in this video, we're looking at Boolean operators, uh, just basically a different way to be combining uh, if statements. Um, so here we have the Boolean operator and and the Boolean operator or. And basically, yeah, all they do is they combine conditions. So I'm going to write a quick program here. I'm going to go through the whole thing about uh, we're going to input a temperature and we're going to see what phase of water would be at that temperature. So it's going to give us um, some different, uh, different ways to look at this. So first of all, for our first variable, we will need um, we're gonna, let's say do an integer for temperature. We'll just call that temp. Also, we're going to have to have a string for the phase that we're going to see out to our user at the end of it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to see out to our user. We're going to talk to them and say, please enter, or let's just say, what temperature is it, maybe? What is the temperature in Celsius? No, I can't write. Okay, and leave a little place for them to write that. Okay, and then we'll have them see in temp. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we could say if, you know, we could do three separate if statements or uh, saying like, you know, if the temperature is below zero, it's liquid or it's solid. And then else if it's below 100, it's liquid. Else it would be over, you know, over 100, it would be gas. But instead of doing that, let's just do a different way. So, so you guys can learn, I guess. Um, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna say it like this: if temp is less, uh, sorry, is greater than zero, and temp is less than one hundred, then phase will be liquid. Okay, do you see what I did there? Instead of uh, instead of saying less than zero liquid, else else, you know, um, we're just combining two, just to, you know, for a different style of writing it, and uh, this definitely has uh, some applications. Um, so then, also for the next two, we can just do simple else if statements, else if, um, and these aren't so important. This is just to you know for some to finish it up. But uh, else if, let's say, temp is less than zero phase is um, solid and else uh, phase would just be hang in there with me this isn't a science lesson but <laughs> you kind of have to sometimes right okay so else phase is equal to gas cool so the, these two this is like very common we've already seen this type of else if statements before but here this is the thing we're doing differently is we're putting two different conditions in one test so our compiler is going to come in here and say it wants to find out if this whole statement is true and if it's true it's going to execute this uh, this next line of code and then skip the rest so it'll come in and say is temperature greater than zero say we enter 30 it'll say yeah the first part is true and it's going to check the second part is it 30 less than 100? Yeah, it's true. Okay, phase will be liquid. And then we have to see out that to the user. So we'll say, see out um, the phase of the water is um, simply phase. Okay. Uh, and then maybe just end line for good practice. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just save this so we can compile it. Mm -hmm. And then when we go run, we talked about using 30 degrees. So maybe let's write in 30 and see what happens. See, the phase of the water is liquid. So that makes sense, right? Um, now, what if we put in minus 10? So we're going to run this program again. So minus 10. Okay, the phase of the water is solid. Yeah, exactly. So that would be ice, right? Um, now, I'll show you these tables here. I made some tables that explain this. We just did the only example right now we did with the and. So if this was condition A was greater than zero, condition B was less than 100, and the conditions together. So condition A was true, condition B was true, because 30 is bigger than zero, 30 is less than 100. So when those are both true, uh, our and operator here will give us a true result, and then it will pass off this whole thing as being true. So that's why it sets it to liquid. Now, um, let's go, uh, let's look back at that table again. So maybe let's pick the number minus 10. Say instead of entering 30, we enter minus 10 and let's see what happens. So back to Xcode. So again, remember, we went minus 10. Oops. So water is solid. 
So inside, it's gonna the compiler is gonna go in here first and it's gonna say, is temperature greater than zero? No, that's false. And as soon as with an and operator, as soon as it finds a false, it kicks you out because it knows uh, that both of them can't be true or the whole thing can't be true if one of them is not true, right? So then it's gonna kick us down here and then it's yeah, temperature is less than zero, so it's gonna give us a solid. Um, now just for fun, uh, let's uh, let's change this to or. Not that we want to do this, but we're going to go and save that. This doesn't really make any sense anymore. But save all. So say you accidentally put or in here, right? Like we don't want to be doing that. We're going to put in minus 10. And it's going to say the phase of the water is liquid. So that's incorrect, right? This is an intentional mistake. But let's look at why that happened. So it's going to come here and it's going to say, is temperature less than or is greater than zero? No. So this part's false. So, but it's going to say, or I want to check for this part too. Because if this or this is true, then the whole thing is considered true. So then it's going to say, is temperature less than 100? Well, yeah, minus 10 is less than 100. So this will be true. And because this only wants at least one of these to be true, it will pass off the whole thing as being true. And it's going to say that phase is equal to liquid. So uh, be careful that you know which one's which, the difference between and and or. And uh, I encourage you to look at these tables and figure out why the resulting you know, combination of the ands or the combination of ors is giving these results. Right? We talked about uh, true, true, and true. And we also talked about one of them being false and one of them being true with the or condition. And uh, it gives you a true. So that could be problematic or that could be exactly what you're looking for. right? Also, if um, we, I think we've talked about the not condition. Well, you guys have seen this before, uh, simply just for testing if it's like not zero, do something, or if it's not one, do something. Uh, and again, so anytime you have this in front of a not, it'll just instantly switch. Uh, as far as the, the Boolean operators are concerned, uh, it'll switch the fact that it's true or false. So yeah, uh, definitely just look at these tables and seriously just work through each one of these and you'll be prepared so much more for any sort of situation if you really understand what's going on in these tables. Alright, I'll leave that with you and uh, we'll move on to the next video.